The story always starts the same way, a rumor, a whisper on the wind. Tales of lost ships and sunken treasures aren't just legends, they're invitations to explore the unknown. The world's oceans covering over 70% of our planet are the ultimate treasure chest holding secrets locked away for centuries. This magnetic pull of the unknown is what drives exploration. Every dive is a journey into a world frozen in time where history isn't just written in books, it's resting on the seabed. Imagine floating over a ship that hasn't seen sunlight in 400 years, being the first to witness its secrets since its final moments. The mystery is intoxicating, a puzzle scattered across the ocean floor, each piece adding to the story of our shared past. For generations these treasures were dreams, guarded by crushing darkness and unpredictable currents. But now, with new technology and tenacity, we can peel back the waves and look directly into the past. It's not just about gold or jewels, it's about uncovering the everyday objects and silent vessels that reveal who we were. The call to adventure is universal, the same spirit that sent explorers across oceans centuries ago. Today, our expeditions point downwards into the blue abyss, solving historical cold cases. The ocean is a massive, liquid museum, its exhibits waiting for discovery. The dangers are real, but the rewards, knowledge, connection, and the thrill of discovery are immeasurable. The quest to unveil these hidden wonders is one of the greatest adventures of our time. What separates an archaeologist from a treasure hunter? It's all about intent and method. For treasure hunters, the story ends with the loot. For underwater archaeologists, that's just the beginning. Underwater archaeology is a scientific discipline, systematically studying human history through remains beneath the water. We're not just after shiny objects, we're after information. A clay pot or a leather shoe can tell us more than a chest of gold ever could. The field transformed with the invention of the aqua lung, letting scientists work underwater with precision. Archaeologists now map sites, excavate carefully, and document everything in context. Context is everything. The relationship between an artifact and its surroundings. Remove an object without recording its place, and you lose the story forever. Our job is to read the whole story before moving anything. The work is slow and painstaking, involving detailed mapping and cataloging. Recovery is just one step. Years of conservation follow. It's a far cry from the smash and grab of movies. Underwater archaeology is about piecing together humanity's grand, fragmented story. When people think of underwater archaeology, they picture shipwrecks, time capsules of a single moment. But the field is much broader, we're discovering entire landscapes lost to rising seas. Coastlines have shifted dramatically over millennia, submerging once thriving lands. Doggerland, now beneath the North Sea, was once a land bridge teeming with life. Archaeologists are finding tools, bones, and even human remains from this drowned world. There are sunken cities like Pavlopetri in Greece with streets and buildings still visible on the seabed. In the Bay of Naples, the Roman resort of Baiae lies preserved underwater, its mosaics and villas intact. We also find prehistoric caves, ancient harbors, and even crashed 1-2 aircraft. Anything swallowed by water is fair game for discovery. These sites offer unparalleled glimpses into lost worlds and remind us how dynamic our planet's history is. The world we see today is just a fleeting snapshot in a much longer story. Underwater archaeology is awe-inspiring, but it's also one of the most challenging jobs on Earth. Every dive is a calculated risk, humans are fragile in a hostile environment. Strong currents can turn careful excavations into chaos, and silt can reduce visibility to zero in seconds. Pressure increases with depth, limiting time and affecting both body and equipment. Decompression sickness is a constant threat, requiring long, careful ascents. Artifacts are often incredibly fragile, wood like wet cardboard, ceramics ready to crumble. Specialized tools and techniques are needed to lift and support these treasures. Sometimes the best choice is to leave an artifact in place to avoid destruction. Logistics are daunting. Specialized ships, expensive equipment, and highly trained teams are essential. Expeditions can cost tens of thousands per day, and funding is always a struggle. Modern dangers like boat traffic and fishing nets add to the risks. It's a battle against environment, physics, time, and budget. Every discovery is a testament to overcoming immense obstacles. The reality is far tougher and more rewarding than any adventure movie. For years, the biggest challenge was simply finding sites in the vast ocean. Now, a technological revolution has changed everything. 
Sonar acts as our underwater eyes mapping the seabed in astonishing detail. Sidescan sonar creates near-photographic images revealing shipwrecks and structures. Magnetometers detect metal objects like cannons or engines by sensing magnetic anomalies. LiDAR uses lasers to map shallow waters with incredible accuracy, revealing sunken cities and landscapes. For the deepest sites, we deploy ROVs and AUVs, robotic submersibles that go where humans can't. ROVs are piloted in real time, equipped with cameras and robotic arms for delicate work. AUVs survey vast areas autonomously, collecting data for days. These tools have opened up the deep ocean, the final frontier of archaeology. We can now find and explore wrecks thousands of meters below the surface. Technology has turned the impossible search into a systematic scientific hunt. The ocean's secrets are more accessible than ever before. The real magic happens when technology leads to discoveries that rewrite history. The lost city of Alexandria's royal quarter, home to Cleopatra's palace, was found submerged in Egypt's harbor. Divers uncovered giant statues, sphinxes, and palace foundations, like finding a real Atlantis. The RV Petrel using advanced submersibles located legendary Wantu shipwrecks like the USS Indianapolis and Musashi. These finds are war graves, providing closure for families and connecting us to living memory. The Roman city of Baiae, now a marine park, lets divers swim over mosaic floors and marble statues, an immersive window into the ancient world. Other discoveries include the Antikythera wreck, which yielded the world's first analog computer and perfectly preserved Viking ships. Each find adds a new color to the mosaic of human history. The ocean isn't a void. It's an archive of triumphs, tragedies, and everyday moments. These discoveries show us the depth of our shared past. And the most exciting part? There's still so much more waiting to be found. Every new site is a chance to rewrite what we know. The adventure is far from over. No underwater expedition is a solo effort. It's a massive collaboration. Success depends on scientists, engineers, historians, and local communities. Local fishermen often hold generational knowledge about the seabed and lost sites. Their insights can unlock major discoveries. Engaging local communities isn't just practical, it's about respect and shared heritage. Involving locals as team members or guardians fosters pride and protects sites from looting. International law, like the UNESCO Convention, sets ethical standards and prioritizes preservation over profit. It's a stand against commercial treasure hunting, which destroys context and history. Volunteers are essential too, everyday people trained to help with diving, mapping, and cataloging. Their dedication shows our shared desire to connect with the past. Collaboration is the backbone of underwater archaeology. It's this web of teamwork that makes incredible discoveries possible. Together we protect and reveal our submerged heritage. One of the most important principles in archaeology is preservation, leaving artifacts where they are. The seabed's cold, low-oxygen environment can preserve shipwrecks for centuries. Bringing fragile objects to the surface can cause rapid decay. Often the best choice is to document a site thoroughly and leave it untouched. Sometimes we rebury sites to protect them from currents or looters. It's a conservation-first mindset, preserving history for the long term. Not every discovery needs to end up in a museum. Many sites are protected and closed to the public to prevent accidental damage. Even well-meaning divers can harm fragile structures. Strict access ensures these time capsules survive for future study. Underwater archaeology is about stewardship, not just adventure. We are temporary guardians of this submerged legacy. By exploring with respect and care, we honor the people of the past. The ocean still holds countless secrets and we continue to listen to its echoes from the abyss.